The Family TV Mass is brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Dr. Montana G. Ramos General Hospital. Good morning and welcome brothers and sisters. We are gathered here to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time, with the theme, Loving Our Friends is Earthly, Loving Our Enemies is Divine. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, together with School of Dentistry, School of Nutrition and Hospitality Management, and School of Education, Liberal Arts, Music, and Social Work of Central Escolar University, Manila Campus, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Chapel of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, CEO Manjola, Manila. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Alde Burreros SSS, Provincial Treasurer of the Congregation of the Blessed Sacrament, with Reverend Father Rindo Caripay CM, Central Escolar University Chaplain. Our choir for today's Mass is the CEU Singers Manila. And as one community gathered in Christ, let us all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. One family of God, we are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, for us to become worthy of this celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Although King Saul wants to kill him, David shows stability of character by sparing the king's life when he had a chance to take it. David's gesture prepares us for the teaching of Christ in the gospel. Our first reading will be read by Dr. Marjorie Kang. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the desert of Ziph with 3,000 picked men of Israel to search for David in the desert of Ziph. So David and Abishai went among Saul's soldiers by night and found Saul lying asleep within the barricade with his spear thrust into the ground at his head and Abner and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp this day. Let me nail him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I will not need a second thrust. But David said to Abishai, Do not harm him, for who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took the spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head, and they got away without anyone seeing or knowing or awakening. All remained asleep because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across to an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop at a great distance from Abner, son of Ner, and the troops. He said, Here is the king's spear. Let an attendant come over to get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, Though the Lord delivered you into my grasp, I would not harm the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm will be read by Miss Michelle Kathleen M. Apostol. Responsorial psalm, let our response be. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your, all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does He deal with us, nor does He requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. Because of the sin of the first Adam, humanity was estranged from God and became subject to corruption. But through obedience, Jesus, the new Adam, becomes the source of spiritual life for all. Our second reading will be read by Miss Josel Batara, Batara. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last, Adam, a life-giving spirit. But the spiritual was not first, rather the natural and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, 
earthly, the second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. And as is the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your clock, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure, will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Kindly all be seated for the homely. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. So few days from now, we will be celebrating the Lenten season. I remember during these days in preparation for Lent, I gave a recollection to old ladies. And then the topic was about loving God and loving our neighbor. So, of course, they were excited to hear how God loves us. But the moment I mentioned about loving other people, especially those that we are in conflict with, our enemies, they started to frown their faces. They were sad because maybe it will be very hard for them to follow such command. 
maalala natin that there are many teachings of Jesus. Of course, following His example, His word, and many others. But probably the most difficult thing to follow is really how to love our enemies. Because we have that mindset that we have to fight our enemies. In fact, from the very beginning, we were taught that if somebody hits you, then you must return the same courtesy, the same pain to that person who hurt you. That is a basic principle of justice. If somebody stab you at your back, then you should also do the same in order to implement or to satisfy what we call justice. But that is justice according to human standard. There is another phase of justice which we call divine justice. Pag sinabi natin justice, the very definition of it is rendering to one what is due to him or her. Giving to one what is due to her or him. That is justice. But according to a lawyer of the Roman Empire in the person of Ulpian, not all that we need as a person given to us by other people just to satisfy us what is due to us. It will not fulfill our total personhood because something that will satisfy us can only be given to us through a gift. So meaning, if you do something, then sometimes it will not be repaid You can only be satisfied if someone gives you. For example, when we commit a particular sin, we cannot redeem based on our own effort and capacity. Jesus, we need Christ in order to be forgiven. That is divine justice. Exercised only love and grace. But then let us go back to our theme for today, which is to love our enemies, to love our neighbor. Sabi nga nila, it is always easier said than done. Madaling magmahal, madaling magpatawad kung ang tao na yon ay gusto mo rin or mahal mo rin. So that's why we need to enter into a particular process in order to realize this teaching of Jesus to love our enemies. The first step that we need to understand or to take is of course to have that inclination, the desire to what is good. Scholastic philosophers would call that senderesis. It is an innate feeling inside that you want to do something that is good. And it always starts from your imagination. Because if you will not use that faculty of imagining, then you cannot do that. For example, Jesus would imagine that he was the one who is suffering. So that's why it is easier for him to assist, to help, to extend assistance or love. Because he imagined himself 
as the one who is suffering. So that's why also for a husband and a wife, each should imagine the task and responsibility of the other or even in regular common relationship. Yung magnobio at nobia. One should always think of the other. Imagine that you are putting your shoes to the other. That is the very thing, the very first step that you need to do in order to love your neighbor and particularly your enemies. You have to imagine that you are the one suffering, that you are the one who is being unforgiven. You are the one who is sad and inflicted. It is only then that you can relate to that particular person. The second thing is, you must widen your appreciation. You must appreciate the existence of your neighbor. That you must accept the fact that you cannot live by yourself alone. You need someone. You cannot just close your door and let the other people be excluded from your sight. In fact, we have this common expression, I want to be alone. Leave me alone. And I don't want to see your face anymore. Now, now. Go. So that is a very you know, popular expression. If we hate the person, but then the Lord made an example for us that even the people who condemned him, our Lord had this feeling to appreciate that person. So that is actually the beginning of the process of loving. And the third step that we need to undertake is of course what we call the sympathy. Sympathy is feeling what others feel. You have to sympathize with that person because before you act on something that is good, before you can forget, forgive and forget, then you must sympathize with that person. And you should not just ignore him or her. Otherwise, the moment that you will not feel what others feel, then it will be very difficult for you to achieve reconciliation. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare our journey towards the end of this ordinary season, then we are invited to have that mindset of the justice of God, the divine justice, wherein Jesus is telling us, do to others what you would like others do to you. That is a very basic moral principle. But of course, we cannot just do it immediately based on our spontaneous reaction to a situation. You have to enter into a particular process in order to realize such moral principle. In this Eucharist, let us ask for that grace that the Lord to inspire us, open our hearts and enlighten our minds so that every time that we encounter a person who is potential for conflict or a person that we do not like from you will have that mindset to extend charity, to extend that love as what Jesus did to us. God bless to each and every one of you.
Please all stand. We now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that we may truly become sons and daughters of Him who are called to mirror His mercy and compassion to everyone. With confidence we pray, Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. Our prayer of the faithful will be led by Mr. Zeus, Christian, and Buni. May the Holy Father Francis bishops, priests, and all church leaders mirror the unconditional love of Jesus who seeks out the lost, the weak, and the stray among God's We pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May our political and civil leaders work to fight against the culture of death and become instruments of healing where injury exists. Lord, Lord of, of mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. May the sick, the capped, the depressed, the elderly, and those who are in great pain because of injustice support their families and leaders of their communities. We pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May we receive the sacrament of reconciliation often and believe in the power of so that we, in turn, may become more compassionate and forgiving, we pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. For the School of Education, Liberal Arts, Music, and Social Work, that the students, faculty, staff, and administration continue to live as a family, always with grateful hearts, willing to share and serve others, we pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. For the students, faculty, and administrative staff of the School of Dentistry, that God's grace continue with wisdom, courage, strength, and character, and good health to overcome the tribulations and trials in their path. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. Listen to the prayers of your children, Father. Grant us the capacity to forgive from our hearts so that we may be one with you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in this obedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Please. Mystery of Faith. Please all stand. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Luis Antonio our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The family is the sanctuary of life, the place which life, the gift of God, can be properly welcomed and protected against the many attacks to which it is exposed. Please bow our heads as we join the prayer for the unity of the families to be led by Dr. Maria Rita D. Lucas, 
Dr. Pearly P. Lim, Dr. Geraldine Robles, Mr. Julius O. De Leon, Ms. Janelle M. Villamore, Ms. Shane Despabila Deras, Ms. Michaela Tanedo, Ms. Mary Rose B. Dacumos, and Ms. Christine Maria S. Castro. God, our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures. Instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Please be seated for some acknowledgments. On behalf of Reverend Father Bell San Luis SVD of Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated, we would like to thank the following for making our Family TV Mass possible. Dr. Maria Cristina D. Padolina, University President and Chief Academic Officer. Dr. Pearlie P. Lim, Dean, School of Dentistry. Dr. Cecilia C. Uncad, Dean, School of Nutrition and Hospitality Management. Dr. Maria Rita D. Lucas, Dean, School of Education, Liberal Arts, Music, and Social Work. Reverend Father Alde Boreros SSS, Mass Presider and Homilist. Reverend Father Rindo Caripay CM, CEU Chaplain, Students, Faculty, and Staff of School of Dentistry, School of Nutrition and Hospitality Management, School of Education, Liberal Arts, Music, and Social Work, Our Choir, CEU Singers Manila, and Organist, Mr. Angelito E. Arian Jr., Field Food Experts and Providers Incorporated. Let us give them a big round of applause. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May the weakness of your devoted people steer your compassion, O Lord, we pray, and let their faithful pleading win your mercy, that what they do now presume upon by their merits, they may recede by your generous pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go now in peace. Thanks be to God.
Family TV Mass was brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Dr. Montana G. Ramos General Hospital.